Hello, it's Bernie. Now, I don't know that I'm sitting here on a bucket in the middle of the pasture. Come here, girls. Come here. And I'm going to just kind of let you see. When I talk about calm and them girls coming up, okay, now here's the, here's a crazy min miniature Hereford. But here you go. I mean, you just, I don't know that you can get a whole lot in your business than this right here. I mean, you can see, I'm just, by, if, if I sat here long enough, I would be absolutely covered in cow slobber. So I'm gonna, so you can kind of see, I'm just kind of sitting here on a bu bucket. I'll back up here in a second, but again, I just kind of wanted to, here you go, girls. There you go, girls. There you go. All right, this is Caliente right here. This is one of the bulls. And again, uh, you're just not going to get much calmer than he is. All right. All right. All right. I got to stand up. I got to stand up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut this off for just one second. All right. I put some cubes out on, on the ground so we could kind of look at these guys and talk about them kind of one, one at a time. This girl right here, again, she was one of ones that was just kind of up in your business. Um, she's going to be bred. Uh, she's gonna be a good good little I mean she's she is she's actually out of the same line as I'm gonna show you this gray one right here. This one right here is kind of out of that same line and you can see they're 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 built a lot of a lot alike. This line right here was actually had a, a, a permanent grand champion in it and she was a bigger broodier cow and when we'd go to these shows and we had a cow judge uh they always pick pick them so anyway out of that same same line now i'm going to show you this girl here she's not going to be for sale uh she's about a seven-year-old cow and she's just you just can't get any bad better than her she is she's showing her age a little bit but that's the one we literally just kind of quit showing all right this gray one you see right there, the one that I told you is always going to be standing right over there. Well, that's her. She's going to be standing right over there all the time. This is about as close as we're going to get to her. And you'll see that if I move, she moves. She's, she's always going to be uh, uh, over there. All right. Now, if you want, to, you want one of the smallest little miniature longhorns, there you go. And again, I don't know what to do with her. And if you're not going to breed anything, I would sell her. But I'm only selling her to someone kind of like that other little tiny red, red one. Um, to somebody that's just absolutely gonna gonna be diligent in what they're in what they're doing. Um, anyway, that's a little miniature Longhorn. Now this one right here, there's the miniature Her Herford. Kind of you can kind of see the. The difference this girl right over here she is one that is extremely docile uh but when she's got a calf on her buddy you better wa watch out because she will flat tear you a new one um great great little cow this girl here with the yellow tag she's actually I, she's not one of my breedings i've owned her for many many years she's a, i say many years she's about five or six maybe now um, has calved. I've got two or three. I've kept two or three of her calves. Great animal. Um, again, she's not one you're going to get up and rub all over, but she's certainly one that was, you know, she'll walk up and you can kind of sniff and, and look. Um, <coughs> excuse me. But she's a, she's a great little animal. We'll move over here. Uh, we've already talked about that red, red one. Okay. Here's these two buckskin ones. I'm going to show you two buckskin ones. This one right here. Okay, I'm going to show you from this side, number 16. Um, and I guess we can talk about 15 too. They were born in the same same year. Um, I would sell one of those two. You can see they, they are, they're a lot, they're very similar in their nature, very similar in their size, very similar in their appearance. Um, they are going to be bred. Um, the, the gray one is not calved. Um, and this, I think this will be 15's first calf too. I'm going to see if I can get around here. Girls, move. 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 You can see, I sometimes... Now, this gray one right here, she is sold, but she's absolutely as docile as they as they come. Here's the other one, 51. Very similar to the 
to the 16, the one standing right there beside her. Um, both of them are great animals. The 51 is going to be a year older. She's calved before. Um, I'm going to walk up and show you Caliente. Caliente is the bull that all these guys are going to be bred to and is actually going to be the father of a couple of these calves. But that's him. That little bull's been hauled all over the country. Step back and let you see her. She's probably one I wouldn't sell. Uh, oh, let me show you this girl right, right here. Number 53. Number 53. She is going to, I think she's actually going to turn out to be a pretty good little calf. She's just kind of one of those that's kind of a little bit leggy at the moment. Um, but her mother, this is her mother right here, the one that's the, the paint that's we just walking past us. This one right here, that is that is her mother. Um, and again, I think she's going to be a pretty good little calf. I don't know that she's bred. If she is, um, she's probably just bred. And I might have misspoke a minute ago. 50, I don't know that 51 has calved. One, either 15 or 16. Again, I, I'm out here all the time and I look at them and go, ah, any, anyway. All right. 